Welcome back. Let's continue our discussion about probate. Today, let's start talking about the process of probate. Now, I do want to disclose, I am not a lawyer. I am a real estate agent. So if you have specific questions about how the process works in your area, I recommend that you reach out to the probate courts. And if you have a lawyer, reach out to that lawyer. Keep in mind, you do not have to have a lawyer in order to settle someone's estate. So let's get to it. In the last video, we discussed the definition of what probate is, so today we're going to start the discussion of the probate process. Keep in mind that every area is different. It is recommended that you reach out to your probate courts and ask them the process of your specific area. Also, I am a real estate agent. I am not a lawyer. This is not advice. This is a basic outline of what the probate process is in order to help you if you are in a situation where you're having to sell someone's home out of their estate. The first step for probate is to file the petition to start. The next step where there's going to be a hearing about the petition. During the hearing, they're going to verify whether it is a large estate or a small estate. That is going to affect a few of the items in this. Again, every area is different and every area has different levels of where they qualify a small estate. So you're going to want to reach out to your probate courts and they'll be able to answer the questions for you. In that hearing, they're going to assign someone to manage the estate until it closes. Now's a good time to bring out the will if you did find one where it states who is going to be the executor of the estate or will the courts have to assign someone to be the administrator of the estate. Two different names, but it's the same job. One is just named in a will and one is named by the courts. Whoever is managing the estate, the executor or the administrator, their next step is going to be to get a bond. It's an insurance that will help protect them if something were to go wrong while they're managing the estate. Again, the probate courts would be able to recommend companies that would be able to help you out with this service. The next step is the notice to creditors. It has to be put into a local newspaper X amount of days. Again, reach to your probate courts to find out. They will also recommend which newspapers to put it in, but it is a notice to creditors. If they have any rights on any claim of the estate, then they have to respond to that notice within X amount of days. So we put out the notice to the creditors and now we've started adding up all of the items, all of the personal items, the furniture, the stocks, the bonds, everything. You're going to start accumulating. You're going to need an Excel sheet or something, a spreadsheet of some sort so that you can keep up with the numbers because you're going to have to turn in every number that is going through this estate. That includes your expenses and you will have expenses. All expenses should be done through the estate. Now doing the inventory, you may be required to have someone come in and appraise the personal items, the furniture of the house. In my area, I was able to call a local auction house and they were able to come through, get a very good idea of the value of what the property was and they sent me a statement saying, this is the estimated amount of the property. It didn't actually cost me anything, Every auction house is a little different. They may change, I don't know, but it didn't cost me anything to have them come to the home and have a look through the property and then let me know what he thought that the value was. All I needed was it in writing so that I could turn it in with the paperwork. If you have real estate, if there is a house or a building of any sort, even land, you're probably going to need to order an appraisal on that also. Again, any expense for the estate needs to come out of the estate. Otherwise, you're going to have a paper trail to show where the money came from and who it gets reimbursed to. So once you've done your inventory, you've ordered your appraisals, you're going to need to pay taxes. Are there any estate taxes due? Again, your probate office is going to be able to answer that question for you and let you know the procedure of how to get that paid. So you're gonna pay taxes first, then you're going to pay the creditors, and then once all of that has been done, if there is any money left over and there are beneficiaries or decedents who will be inheriting something from the estate, you will file a petition for final distribution in order to get that money sent out to those people. Then they'll have a hearing to approve or ask for changes and it either ends or you go back and you correct the items that were needed. I had to go back and correct mine quite a few times. Obviously, when you have never done something that is this nerve-wracking, 
it can get to you, but just go slow, pay attention to everything they give you for guidance in your local probate office and reach out to them if you have questions. So that is a basic breakdown of the procedure of probate, the start to the finish. But in the middle, the executor of the state is responsible for any real estate and personal property that is left behind. If you have to sell it in order to settle the estate, reach out to the probate courts and ask them when is an acceptable time to put a home on the market so that you can settle the estate. They will let you know when it's okay to go ahead and get it on the market. I hope this answered your questions about the simple basic steps of what probate is since we discussed the definition of it in this video, previous video. On our next video, let's talk about how long do you have to file for probate? This one next. Thanks for watching.